G'day folks, in a previous video I did a new front letterbox and that was like the start of my front garden uh, makeover. When we decided that we were going to go ahead with this we actually couldn't figure out where exactly to start so what we did was we called in uh, Paul from Focus Landscaping, figured out a budget and we let the professionals do the job. As usual you don't want to be looking at my face. Let's go on with the video and watch the garden evolve. Hopefully I'm not getting too much wind noise. I'm fairly close to the camera and virtually yelling at the moment because I know what the wind does to the little microphone on this camera. Well that's the front. We just saw the letterbox and the garden as it is now. I'm just going to run around the garden just to let everybody have a look. Those bushes there, they've been there for over 20 years and it's time for a change. That will be dug out and it will go to where the uh, concrete is and the little step there will be part of our new landscape. But uh, to the right where that rubbish bin is, that's really not going to change all that much at all. No plans for that bit in front of me right now where the rubbish bins are, but the rest of it is probably going to change fairly dramatically with a bit of a wall at the end of the garden there. To the slightly to the right of that big tree. We don't expect too much of a change here but the daisies there on the top left they'll probably be pulled out. They've been there about 20 years as well. Yes I expect there'll be lots of swishy swishy noises in this video but uh, it can't be helped as the work starts tomorrow. The bobcat arrived today and of course the wind gets up just as I want to take some video. And as can be seen the first load of rocks have arrived to form the little walls etc that will be through this area once the job's finished. It's been a few days since uh, my last video and I've actually forgotten to do video as the wall was getting done. So that's my bad, but this is as far as we are at the moment and it's uh, starting to look really good. And of course it's been a reasonably still day today and as soon as I get the camera out the wind blows up. So I don't know how swishy this is going to sound. Still a few boulders short, but uh, you can only carry so much in a trailer at a time and I suppose more will arrive tomorrow. As usual, as soon as you bring a camera out, the wind gets up. Anyway, the job is not quite finished. And the reason I say it's not quite finished is purely because we haven't planted yet. And we won't be, do we won't be planting for a while because the weather is just too hot at the moment. We're really pleased with the way the dry stone looking wall came out. It uh, looks dry stone but there is a lot of cement there holding it together but the effect is, looks really good when you're up close. Now along the side there's uh, normally you would use bricks to separate the garden from the path but this has an aluminium strip to do that and honestly I think it looks better for the, the garden that we have and we're really pleased with that as well. This is the front garden or what it looks like now. It's actually months later and the um, mulch has actually lost its colour and gone grey. That's how long it's been since I 
should have finished this video but was just too lazy to do so. The wall in the foreground I did about 25 years ago and surprisingly as I said before I just couldn't figure out where exactly to start this job. From the steps going up into the um, garden there, or the sitting part, it doesn't look too bad. My granddaughter absolutely loves just sitting up here throwing rocks or pebbles and um, it's a really nice spot to just sit and watch the world go by. Well, that's the finished product. Um, certainly none of my sweat and tears, but uh, as always, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching.